Imagine you're a bright young journalist with your entire life and career ahead of you. And then suddenly you start behaving oddly and doctors think you're becoming psychotic. CBS News' Dr. Max Gomez says for one young woman, it was her immune system attacking her brain. Dr. Max? That's right, Allison Maurice. It's an underappreciated and underdiagnosed problem. Psychiatric symptoms that are actually a biological disease. This young New Yorker could have been institutionalized had she not been seen by a very smart neurologist who suspected something else and saved her life. It's a routine and completely normal neurological exam for Susanna Cahalan. But seven years ago, it would have been anything but normal. It started with mood swings. One moment I would be, you know, kind of hysterically happy, and then the next moment I would be despondent. Shortly thereafter, Susanna had her first seizure and was hospitalized, where her behavior became even more erratic. Kicking and punching nurses, trying to escape. I believed, you know, nurses were turning into people and playing tricks on me. But when Dr. Suhel Najjar saw her, he suspected a biological cause to her behavior. So he asked her to draw a clock. This is what Susanna drew. It suggested that something was affecting just one side of her brain. A small brain biopsy revealed inflammation around the blood vessels in the brain, which meant damage and disruption of the blood brain barrier, which is essentially the wall between the periphery and the brain. It to prevent harmful substances in the blood to enter into the brain. That break in the blood brain barrier left Susanna's brain open to attack by her immune system, leading to a massive encephalitis. More tests, immune suppressing drugs, and treatments to wash out the attacking antibodies. She's fully normal. She has absolutely no neurological deficit of any kind. Susanna doesn't remember much of her time in the hospital, but she knows how close she came to permanent brain damage. And I could have been cognitively impaired and, you know, put in a nursing home for the rest of my life. Um, and I'm not, and I'm here, and I'm very grateful for that fact. Now, Susanna and Dr. Najjar were both at a different hospital back then. Today, Dr. Najjar has established one of the very few clinics for brain autoimmune diseases at Lenox Hill Hospital. And Susanna wrote a book called Brain on Fire that has been made into a major motion picture to be released later this year. And it's interesting. They thought she could have gone into the psychiatric ward, and that might have been, you know, a death sentence for her because it wouldn't have been treated and eventually it would have taken her life. And then wow. you look at her now, and she just looks oh. as normal as can be. As if nothing happened. Smart, you know, back working at the New York Post, where she's uh, now the, the the head of the book section over there. Wow, she's doing thank great. Thank goodness. Yeah. You think of others who've had this, and people just didn't know what it was. Exactly, exactly, wow. and that's why they've established this clinic to help people get the right treatment, the right diagnosis, and the right treatment. You bet. Thank you, Doctor Max. Thank you.